Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. If you've seen random clips from my live video stream, uh, you know, outtakes of sorts, although they're not really outtakes, or at least most of them aren't, because everything happens live. And, I mean, we do happen to record certain videos, but then there are certain videos that we don't record because it's a one long video. Uh, one of the people who is responsible for uploading some of the wackier things that happen is this guy. Well, at least his voice, Uncle John. That's not my uncle. That's his handle, uh, Uncle John. And uh, he uh, wanted to demonstrate Muvi on uh, our GoToMeeting session tonight. GoToMeeting, of course, uh, software that runs cross-platform that will allow you to connect to other people's desktops to, well, demonstrate things, to have meetings. I mean, that's why they call it GoToMeeting. Instead of traveling somewhere uh, to look at something, I can just connect to his desktop right there, easy. And you can get a, a special trial at GoToMeeting.com slash Chris Perillo. That's my name, Chris Perillo. Go figure. Uh, and, uh, you know, you can start using GoToMeeting uh, for your own virtual meetings or, you know, demonstrations of sorts. So, Uncle John, you ready to show us what impressed you about Muvi since I told you about it? Yeah, uh, since you showed me the program, I found it a time saver and a half for making video montages. So it, It's it, very simple to add uh, movies and pictures and compile a montage based on a musical background. So what, what he's saying, and this is what it does, you give it photos or video, and then you select a theme, uh, and then it will create a new video out of all that. It'll do all the transitions, it'll synchronize it to the music that you choose, it's creating a montage. Uh, Muvi is available right now uh, on Windows, and I do believe it'll work with uh, high definition video now as well. Uh, yes, it will. So you're going to compile a Muvi? Yeah, right here in front of you. Uh, give me a second here. I got a folder here with a whole bunch of Christmas-related videos and pictures I took at a light show. Christmas pictures and I'm videos. Just gonna okay. Highlight them all. Click open. And voila. So they show up there. Now he's choosing a style and you, here. Yeah, you have different styles you can choose from, like uh, Pump It Up, which is a really nice one. And you can actually adjust the setting of the style also to differentiate it from other uh, videos you've made with the Oh, so you can style. change, you can adjust cutting rate, response to music, and energy level of each particular style. Yeah, it's very nice. It makes uh, combining video clips a lot easier than kind of do right. it with a like a video editor. editor right and that's one of the reasons why you know I've recommended Muvi in the past I've used it before if I have like a whole bunch of raw video like from vacation or something like that instead of you know going into like Windows Movie Maker or iMovie or whatever dragging and dropping and rearranging and synchronizing and everything it's like you know what there's got to be an easier way and Muvi is most certainly uh, the easiest software that I've seen that would do something like that it'll create a new movie based on either your digital photos or your digital videos uh you know synchronizing the sound doing the transitions after you pick the style and then you'll have created something some somebody's going to see that and say wow how long did that take you to do and you'll be like uh it took me weeks when in fact it may have taken you an hour max well usually it only takes me about 10 minutes to compile see? and uh, save a video and you get a and preview right here we already got compiled and it's already starting to play so he's got the preview here of his video mixed with his photos. I can't hear the audio because I'm using, you can see the transitions it's doing. Right. Of course, they're a little lag due to a good meeting, but believe me, in person, they're smooth as so. So give this a shot. You know, if you've got video that's just sitting there, not doing anything, no one really wants to sit through, you know, an hour of you walking through a forest. I mean, speed it up. You know, get it going. Add some music to it. And if you're not someone who's into video editing, Muvi is the one that you want to use. I've been using it for years. Oh, he's got a full screen preview here. Of course, uh, since we're uh, connecting to his desktop remotely, I can't expect the frame rate to be amazing. I mean, like, like this. All right. So then you can save it out. 
what are your export options these days? Oh, sure. You can export this as just about anything. Uh, I'll go and <clears throat> go ahead and export it right now. I'll say, uh, I'm on. share the movie. And I'll see it as HD. Uh, to my computer, oh, nice. pretty much any format. We'll go in here real quick. PSP, iPod. Oh, then it'll give you the settings there. Compression settings yeah. and, you know, the types. MPEG-1, MOV, WMV. That's pretty nice. But usually what I like to do is save as high definition, <laughs> so that way the output retains uh, as much of the clarity right. of the different transition effects as possible. Yeah, Otherwise, save out as, as high quality effect. as possible. Yeah, that makes sense. It's been a while. I mean, like I said, I've known of M Muvi for gosh, forever. It seems like forever. Um, and it looks like they've cleaned up the user interface a lot since the last time I happened to use it. It's just the other week when you were talking about putting a, a compilation together for our New Year's night, um, I thought, well, why wouldn't you use Muvi? And you hadn't necessarily heard of it, and then I you know, showed it to you, and I guess it's helped. Oh, shoot. I made a uh, promotion video using this program. Uh, the hardest part was getting the rights to the music for the background of it. But the video part itself is very simple to make. Uh, in it's fact, drag I have and drop. it right here. It's a... Drag and drop. It's as easy as it gets. I mean, a lot of people get worried because they don't know how to edit video. It's like, just, you know, use it. This is a Muvi reveal. And I think I got you... Uh... Let's see here. Oh, you've got a lot of our videos on there, don't you? <laughs> yes, I do. How many videos do you have on I your YouTube channel? What? How many videos do you have on your YouTube channel now? Ooh, I think over 150 now. A hundred, 150 outtakes. Yeah. What are you looking for now? Are you looking for the New Year's thing? Yep, and here it is. Oh, great! Can't wait to see it. Whoopee. More information can be found at muv.com. That's M-U-V-E-E. -E. That's what we've been demonstrating. Well worth the money, trust me. In fact, I may, may, no promises here, may be able to get you a coupon. So let me know if you're thinking about registering MUV, and I will see what I can do for you since I do happen to know the people who work on MUV. Um, you know, as I said, it's only available for the Windows platform. I haven't had much need for it myself uh, in, re in recent years. Like I said, that's the first time I'd seen uh, the uh, the interface in, in quite a while. Uh, oh, you want a coupon? All right, fine. Uh, my email address is chris at perillo dot com. Uh, of course, we've got coupons at chris. No, wait. yeah, we we have coupons at chris dot perillo dot com too. See, chris at perillo dot com. That's my email. Chris dot perillo dot com. That's my blog. Uh, but coupons.lockernome.com is the, the full index where you can search for coupons that you're looking for, even subscribe to RSS feeds for them. Um, yeah, I, I like looking at software that I believe is unique, that does something that no other software does, and, and UV is, is certainly one of those things. Hey, Uncle John, we can't really see it because I think you've got the, the hardware acceleration in your Windows Media Player turned on. Oh... Uh. I realize you were playing it. I'm like, um, we can't see it. You have to turn on, uh, go to, go into uh, the options for Windows Media Player. <laughs> Giving them some tech support here. No options. Go to now. Okay, I guess there. <laughs> Prop. No, not properties. Options. I'm used to just going command comma. Doesn't work in Windows. Uh, go to performance in Windows Media Player. Then go to video acceleration and drag the slider down to none. Uh, okay. Yes, okay. Is it going? Uh, it's, uh, Is it thinking? It's froze. All right, sorry about that. Download it's Windows. Windows Media Player, what are you going to do? Well, anyway, that will, turning off video acceleration will make it so that we should be able to, yep, see, look at that, and the video shows up. Mm, got a little tip in there right before the end. See how we do that? Because we're geeks. That's, that's how we scroll. Get it? It's like geeks. That's how we scroll. You know, like other cool people say, that's how we roll. Geeks scroll. Yeah, because we got the little, you know, wheel. 
Geeks.perillo.com is our community of geeks. Uh, we love hardware and software and, and web services and anything related to technology. And we've also got this chat room that's integrated with the live video experience where we talk about all sorts of things because we have this live video feed that sometimes, you know, is on topic, other times not on topic. And the topic is, you know, well, it just kind of depends on everybody's mood because we're a community and you're more than welcome to join us. Uh, this, this video feed is live 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and sometimes Uncle John captures some of the wackier moments and posts them uh, to his YouTube channel, uh, which I've been more than happy to promote. It's been kind of fun to, to uh, you know, watch the things that I do without realizing that I'm doing them in front of the live uh, video stream, but it happens. So anyway, uh, we're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, as I said before, at live.perillo.com. Well, yeah, later.